Hello and welcome to HiCut Short Clip. In this video we will have a look at new features of developments and their export. I will show you this with an example drawing which you may have already seen in the video about the Z-fold function. To show you the first new feature on developments I will add a processing direction to the sheet. The prepper function can be found under 3D standard, under standard processing and right there at the bottom. In the following dialog we select an exemplary symbol which I will then put in place. And in the wake of this my view will be indicated as not up to date which we can update here. Now we can see in this diagonally represented section that the processing direction is displayed. The next step here will be to create a new development and let's say we would like it to be inserted over here at the top. We can already see here that the processing direction symbol is blue and up here in the new processing it is red. This can be changed by clicking on the extended settings button the dialog window for sheet development parameters opens where we can find crosshairs, embossing lines, direction symbol to assign them different colors. What's new is that I can specify, let's say that for this one client in particular in this drawing, these direction symbols need to be in red per default by unticking the checkbox. Correspondingly, the seconding is taken over and we see that the direction symbol is blue as of now. The same applies to crosshairs. If the respective checkbox has been activated, the parameter set here will be considered for development. Then we create the development here and look at the next feature, namely the export. If we'd like to output a sheet development as DXF, we select it accordingly. The dialog window opens. We can see here that different parameters are shown, as well as this new small preview of the drawing being the result of the DXF. This can also be output as DWG or GEO or if I like to have it completely this will be my result specified beforehand with the given parameters which can be seen in the new preview window. Then I can select any desired storage location and save it. And the next new function would be as follows. If I would like to output all sheet developments which I have created in this drawing, I selected all parts by ticking this checkbox. A list appears with all developments existent here and if I have multiple sheet areas I eventually cannot see whether they are up to date. In this second sheet here it is visible that the sheets aren't up to date. This means that these will be still created and output if I export this. However, I will see a respective note that they are not up to date. And the last feature I would like to show concerns the step export of developments here is an additional option that fits information, can be output via the surface colors in step. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching it. Bye!